Hey guys, welcome to my cooking channel. I filmed this intro for the hundredth time now. Anyways, I cooked this chicken ranch soup thing. It's so good. It's super good. You make it in the crock pot. If you have a crock pot and you want to learn how to make this, stay watching this video. 10 out of 10, so good. It took me about, I don't know, 10 minutes to make it. So I really recommend you guys do it. It's so good. And it's like a beginner recipe. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Hello, friends, family, strangers, Ray, people who know how to cook and people who don't know how to cook. I'm kind of gonna rush through this video because I am tired and I just wanna get this all in the crock pot. So if I'm talking really fast, that's why I'm exhausted. This is super easy. It's really delicious. I'm gonna link the two links that I kind of, I kind of mixed both of them together and made this. I'm not using the exact measurements. It's just kind of all to your liking. I washed, I don't know, probably like eight potatoes because these are kind of small. So I don't know if you can see, but pretty much you just cut it in half this way and then cut it in half this way. You can leave them like this. Um, here, there. When I make Zupa Toscana, I leave them like this. I'm not a freaking chef. It's honestly, it's just however you like your potatoes, if you want them thick, if you want them little. I wouldn't recommend going too small though, just cause, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you can see that, but they're like this big. I'm going into depth because some of my friends have asked me to make these cooking videos because they don't know how to cook at all. And I know when I first started cooking, I had to Google, well, YouTube how to chop everything because I had no idea how. I would recommend looking up how to cut an onion and watch the Gordon Ramsay video because I can cut an entire onion so fast. Now I'm nervous, I'll probably cut myself. But yeah, I can cut an onion so fast because of Gordon Ramsay. I always brag that Gordon Ramsay taught me how to cut an onion, but it was actually his YouTube video. So I'm doing a half an onion. I don't know what any of the recipes call for, but I just know I use the ingredients for both of them and then I just kind of do whatever feels right. But we like onions in this house, so seems like a good amount. The crock pot is the best. Oh my Christ, oh no. I'm crying, I'm crying. These are the spices that I'm using. It's just salt, pepper, thyme, 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 whatever, oregano, bay leaves, uh, and some minced garlic. So I have this on high because I'm hungry. Have some baby, oh some baby carrots. And these, these uh, potatoes. I actually am gonna get a bigger bowl. So I know, what I do know is I know the recipe asks for two and a half cups of these. I know baby carrots are actually really bad for you. Someone told me about this, how they like put a lot of chemicals in them um, to like compact them. So you can use real carrots. I really just don't care right now. So, oh, I have milk too. Condensed milk, biscuits. I don't know if I'm gonna use these on there if I'm gonna bake them in the oven because you could just like put them on top and then they'll like still cook in here. But the bottom is always kind of wishy when you do that. So you just put it in here like this. I'm gonna put the onions on top just so it could like make it out. And then I have a cup of 2% milk. And you get this like ranch seasoning thing. Put it in here. Mix it all that. And then this is cream of chicken. You can really get whatever you want. There's like this one. You can get whatever. I got this one. The recipe I know calls for 23 ounces and this one is 
22.6, so just get the big one. Sorry if you hear the beeping, it's the microwave. Shout out to Josie. Josie, if you're watching this, she taught me how to use this uh, can opener. It doesn't seem like it's working. Oh, <laughs> I got it in my hands. So you wanna mix that with the milk and the ranch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix this really, really good. And then I'm gonna put the chicken, I'm gonna season the chicken with all these spices, put the chicken on top of the potatoes, the onions, and the carrots. And then, um, and then I'm gonna pour this on top of that. And sometimes, it just depends on how I'm feeling, but sometimes I like it a little more soupy, and that's when I put the chicken broth in. I don't know if there's a way that you can make this like vegan um, or vegetarian. I don't know, you can probably do like a different type of milk and then, no, cause the cream of chicken, I don't know what you can substitute with that with. Just saying that because I know I have a lot of vegan vegetarian friends. I have to wash this chicken, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with my chicken washed and my hands washed. So, uh, I did forget something. You could spray the inside of the crock pot or like put butter or vegetable oil or whatever in there. I didn't do that. Um, so my, my soup will lack a little bit of soul, but whatever, I'll survive. So I'm just gonna put the seasonings on here, salt, pepper, thyme, oregano. I know you could just put it in the, I'm gonna do both sides, but I know you could just put it in the crock pot. You don't have to put it on here, but why not give it a little rub? Like I said, oh, that was a lot. Like I said, I don't just, I don't measure it. I know this is probably not the best video for like beginners. Because I know when I first started to cook, I hated when people were like, just put like whatever. I hated that. I was like, buy the recipe, buy the book. Oh, I need to in this space. <laughs> so I hated that, but honestly, I would not recommend going overboard with the thyme. I know that thyme, thyme, I don't, if you guys know how to say it, someone put a like pronunciation <laughs> in the comments because I, I don't know how to say it, whatever. Come in, cumin, we get it. Thank God for these because mincing garlic is just kind of time consuming. Oh, maybe I should have put this on first. Just gonna rub some on there. Please don't come at me in the comments that I'm going back in with the same spoon. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Give me salmonella, please. So good. I'm gonna do the other side and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I did the other side of the chicken the chicken breast, I'll show you guys. I can't tilt it because it's a little juicy. I didn't put any thyme on this side, thyme on this side, because I always overdo it with that spice. And I rubbed the minced garlic first and it was so much easier. And the bay leaf you just put on top of everything. I'm gonna put the chicken on top of there. Just like this, but it's snug. I know there's like a lot more that you can do. It's like a TikTok thing that I learned on TikTok at least that you can take the tendon out of the chicken. We are garbage disposals in this house. So we're just gonna leave it on there because we just eat everything. So yeah. And then you're gonna wanna just pour this little mixture like this. You're gonna have to go slow. See how it's kind of thick? I don't know if you can see that. It's like so thick. It takes a while for it to seep into the potatoes. I swear to you, I've done it by the recipe and it just tastes better this way, so. Yeah. I have frozen peas and celery. Here's the celery that I'm gonna chop up and put the frozen peas in the celery later. But yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I'm not gonna add the chicken broth because once this heats up, it's not so thick. But for now, leave it in there. I don't know. 
check on it maybe like every hour and then you can start stirring it. But for right now, I'm gonna put the lid on it. It's on high. We'll be in an hour and a half. Oh, don't forget your bay leaf. Almost forgot. I'm gonna add two just cause they're kind of small. Let's see how it looks. No, it depends. It depends. It depends on what you're feeling. Oh, that one's too big. Do what feels right, you guys. Do what feels right. Three seems great. And then later you can always adjust your spices. Remember that you can always add more. You can't ever take away. So yeah, I'll see you guys in an hour and a half. Bye. Hey guys, so I have to do this pretty quick cause my camera is about to die, but this is what it looks like after two hours. I'm gonna take out all the chicken bits and put them in here and then shred it and put it back. Easy, easy enough. Shred it with two forks. Okay, guys, I don't know if you can see, but I added the peas and the celery. I added uh, some chicken broth, kind of a lot of it, because I kind of wanted it really soupy. So, after I added the celery and the chicken broth, I added, I tasted it and added more salt. You can just do that. To, to your preference. I like putting sour cream and some cheese. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, also, I forgot to do some stuff. I You could chop up the, like the refrigerated biscuits and put them on top, but when you do that, it only cooks the top and the bottoms kind of stay a little soggy. So that's why I didn't add those because we're not the biggest fan of that part of the recipe. And also, don't forget to butter the crock pot because that's what adds soul to the food. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye! <laughs> oh yeah.